Hi everyone, I'm Megan Ebanks and I'm in the Susan A. Oldie Art Studio at the National Gallery of the Cayman Islands, where I'm very excited to be leading you in today's Parents and Preschoolers session. Today, we are going to talk about a very special little turtle right from our own Cayman waters. This little turtle goes on a very big adventure to find out just how special he is. Took, the specialist turtle, is written by Jim Ritterhoff and Melissa Tomjanovich and illustrated by Tori Navakova in support from CCMI and Coral Reef Conservancy. Of all the wonders of the world, the proud peaks of Asia, the exotic forests of the Amazon, there is none quite so special and full of mystique as the exciting, enchanting Caribbean reef. Coral in all colors, coral like rain, starfish bobbing amid coral flames, sea fans majestic in the size of trees, flamingo tongue snails that dance on the reef. And in the gentle sway of the sea grasses swam tiny turtle toque with long lanky fins, a pea-sized head the neck of a gazelle and an enormous shell. The other turtles would tease. Such a disgrace. He can't fit in his carapace. Moon jellies jeered, spiny lobsters snickered. Hermit crabs in well-fitting conks would yell, tiny toque, too small for his shell. There's only so much one turtle can take. With friends like these, who needs an enemies? He felt sad and lonely, so sad and lonely. But a big adventure awaited Tiny Took. As he rose to the surface for air, his life was forever changed. Things progressed at a dizzying speed. Took moved forward without lifting a fin. He felt like a bird with the wind blowing against his skin. It was a thrill to watch his new friends without shell, fin, or gill walk across the land. And then, through a mysterious door marked specialist. It was all quite curious. But before two could think, he sank into a sleep like the violet deep of his beloved sea and he had a dream. He saw his name in glittering, shimmering lights. When Took awoke, he was back in warm waters. He couldn't wait to tell the others of his wonderful experience. He wasn't just special, he was the specialist. But he was greeted by the same ridiculing reef. The specialist, a large turtle scoffed, your only specialty is not being special at all. You're just a tiny turtle, too small for his shell. Took tried a group of brittle stars. I'm Took, and I'm the specialist. But the brittle stars just giggled. I'm the specialist. This I insist. Then a shrimp called him a shrimp. Surely on land they would understand his specialness. Mr. Blue Iguana, I insist, I'm the specialist. 
You couldn't possibly be as special as me, the blue iguana said with a quick flick of his tongue. I am endangered, one of the rarest reptiles on the planet. If anyone is the specialist, it is I. Hmm. To continue to swim farther than he had ever been, searching for someone to convince that he was indeed the specialist. That's when he saw an amazing sight, a school of stingrays in magnificent flight. Miss Stingray, I'm too, and I am the specialist. Hmm, not in this land, said Miss Stingray, buried in sand. I am the most special here. I've got my own city with one million visitors a year. And with a wave of her wings, she moved on to more elegant things. Hmm. Took hung his head, depressed because he wasn't the specialist. Deep in despair, Took didn't see a massive whale shark rise out of nowhere. Suddenly it got very dark. Two couldn't see a thing. He started to panic and scream until poof! Hey kid, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. I'm not surprised, Took sighed. No one ever notices me. Why not? asked the whale shark. I'm just a turtle too small for his shell. I'm not a rare reptile like Mr. Blue Iguana. I don't have my own city like Ms. Stingray. In fact, I'm not special at all. The whale shark shook his head gently and gave Took a wide grin. Why on earth would you say such a thing? You're very special, just look at your fin. For the first time, Took noticed the tag on his fin. What does it mean? He said with a grin. The whale shark's eyes widened with excitement. It means researchers chose you to study. Study me? Took's eyes were as wide as the whale shark's. Yes, you. The more they learn about you, the more they'll know about the sea and how to protect it. That tag is a reminder of your role as a guardian of our precious reefs. I can't think of anything more special than that. Took agreed. His heart swelled with pride. He hopped on the whale shark and went for a ride. Oh, and about your big shell. The whale shark smiled. It just means you're destined for big things. And finally, Took knew this was true. As the specialist Took had much to look forward to. All right, that was a great little story about a very adventurous and special little turtle. So I think we should work on making some turtles of our own now. We are going to do a paper plate turtle. It's very simple, but very cute and easy for um, your little one to do most of it on their own. My daughter, who's four, made this one. And, and like I said, she was able to do almost all of the project by herself, which is great to um, help them feel independent and like they accomplished something by themselves. We need one large paper plate for the body. Some green paper, doesn't have to be too much. One or two uh, pages will do. Scissors, preferably uh, kid scissors for their little hands. Some liquid glue. Uh, this works better than glue stick, um, just for gluing all the pieces together with the, um, with the paper. Um, so if you have this, I'm sure we can make either one work, um, but this one does tend to work a bit better. And then you can get a bit creative with what, how you want to decorate the shell. The one that my daughter did, we used paint dots, uh, paint marker dots, and 
These are quite fun and come in many different colors. So they're quite easy to use and it's nice for them to hold on to. But if you don't have those available, that's fine. You can certainly use watercolors. You can use some glitter and you can even put on some like uh, glittery stickers if you want. Otherwise I have some foam pieces that are just foam shapes in many different colors. They're kind of fun to add on for a little texture or a little decorative pattern. So you can just be creative with um, what, what you want to use for those. However your child feels inspired. Now I've just, on the green paper, I've just outlined um, four fin shapes, a tail, and a simple head shape. Now these would be quite easy for your little one to cut out themselves. Um, you might need to help them a little bit, um, but certainly give, let them have a go at it with their little scissors. Uh, it's a great workout for their hands um, to work on their pincer grip and um, just their hand strength. So try to let them do that if they can. Well, I've got some ready already here, four little fins and one headpiece and a little tail and some googly eyes because no project is complete without a set of googly eyes and their shell. Either way you want to use the shell is fine. Uh, if you want to have the sort of domed part at the top, that's perfectly fine. So we can use some of our dots or your watercolor and you know get some good color on it. Certainly doesn't have to be any specific pattern. Just let them be creative. That's the most important part. And of course, turtle shells are never the same. So it's perfectly normal for any pattern to be expected. So get creative. You can use different colors. can blend them and layer them. See what colors you get when you use two colors over the top of each other. That's a fun experiment. My little one is learning her primary and secondary colors right now. So we do a lot of experimenting with mixing red and yellow to make orange or red and blue to make purple. So you can also put some glitter. Your little one is like mine, she'll have come up with any reason to have a play with glitter. You can get creative with some of these little foam shapes, colors. They're very easy to use. They can just glue on with, you don't have to use hot glue, you can just use regular Elmer's glue. All right, so once you're comfortable or happy with the shell, or your little one is, um, you can start gluing the pieces on. So you can start with the fins, and these are gonna glue from the bottom side of the, of the shell. So you're just gonna have your little one put some glue on the very edge of it, just like this, and just attach it from to the bottom side of the placemat. Here's where your clothespins are gonna come in handy because it does take a little bit longer for the glue to dry. So you can just attach them on there like that. And that's great for your, your um, little one to do as well, to use the paper clip, uh, use the clothespin to attach that on there. And then just do that with all four fins. And you're gonna wanna make sure you put the glue on the it, it doesn't really matter, but glue it on the right side so that the fin is going the right direction. So now you look just like that. And now we just need to add on his tail and his head. So we have a little tail piece. And put glue on that. And once again, you can have another clothespin to hold that on while it's drying. And your little headpiece. 
Before you glue it on, you draw a smiley face or something, a face on it, so your little one can etch it in. Um, and you can glue your googly eyes on. Looks like that. Attach him right at the top. Glue like this. And right underneath there. And once again. All right. So now our little turtle looks like this. He's held together. And you're just gonna let him dry for a couple minutes and he'll be all set to go. So we hope you enjoyed that and we hope you'll join us again soon. Good luck. Can't wait to see your little turtles. Bye-bye.